Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Illustrator to create a sun similar to this one. We'll be using some shape tools like the star and ellipse tool. First let's create a new document. Go to File, New. Because I'm making my future project for the web, I'm going to choose web. You might sometimes choose print or film and video depending on what your intentions are. I'm going to call this sun number three with my name on it. And for the width, I'm going to do 720 pixels and the height will also be 720 pixels. And all of the rest of the settings will be left at the defaults and I will click the create button. Now I have a nice blank document. So over here in the toolbox, I'm going to click and hold on the shape tools and select the star tool. I'm going to click one time on the canvas and this box will pop up. Notice that right now radius 1 is set for 40 and radius 2 is set for 50 and the number of points is 15. I'm going to click OK and let's see what that looks like. So we have a 15 pointed star shape with shallow rays. Now let's change the color. So over here where the fill and stroke are, I'm going to double click the fill and go up to the orange area. I do have this set on web only colors because I intend for my animation to be on the web. I'll choose this orange color and click OK. Now back over here where the fill and stroke are, X on the keyboard to bring the stroke forward and set it to none. Now I'm going to click again with the star tool on the work area, but this time I'm going to make the radius a different number. Let's try, let's try 30 and click OK. Now I have a 15 point star that has longer rays. What I'm going to do is push V on the keyboard or s grab the selection tool. I'm going to draw a box around both of these to select both and then over here in my properties panel under the align section I'm going to click horizontal align center and vertical align center. Now those are overlapped. Now I'm going to click off to deselect off to the side and just grab the top star. Now holding down shift and alt on the keyboard I'm going to grab the corner anchor point and drag that out a bit. Now I need to rotate it. To rotate it I'm simply going to hover the cursor around the corner until I get the bent arrow which is the rotation arrow. Then I'm going to click and drag and offset the rays something like that. Um, I think my long rays are a little bit too long so shift and alt and I'm gonna shrink that a little bit. Yeah I think that's better. But my overall my whole sun is too small so I'll draw a box around both with the selection tool. Hold down shift and alt and drag it bigger. Now I will click off to the side. Now I'm going to click and hold on the star shape tool and select the ellipse tool. I'm going to hold down shift on the keyboard and drag out a circle and I will click to bring the fill forward, double click it and I'll make that a yellow color. That looks nice and click OK. So again with the selection tool I'll draw a selection around all of these. Go over to the properties panel and look for the align section. I will align the horizontal center and the vertical center. And I'll click off of this to take a look at it. Yeah I think that looks pretty good. If you want to, you can add a gradient to this. So I'll go ahead and click the gradient option and I'll click edit gradient 
and select Radial Gradient, the middle button, then I can double click these color stops or these color stops, either one, to change the color. Now notice there's an eyedropper right here, so if I click this eyedropper, I can click this orange and it will change it to the, this, the same color. But I actually I think I'm going to swap these two. So I'll put the orange in the center and then I'll make this one a nice yellow color. I think I want it a little bit more golden than that. So let me bring it up into the yellow section. And I can refine it by scooting this around. Okay, and when I'm finished, uh, the keyboard shortcut to deselect is deselect is Control Shift A. I can move this out of the way, and there is my finished sun. Go ahead and save your changes and turn in your project so that you get credit. Have fun, everyone.